Hey, welcome to first part of digital art tutorial series. This is the common screen you will get when you open Adobe Photoshop. If you find different arrangement of toolbars, you can simply reset your workspace from Windows menu. It will set up to default one. If you are totally new in Adobe Photoshop, and want to learn basics first, please take a look at our beginners tutorial series for beginner. So, let's first open our source file. You can open file from open menu inside of file menu. Or simply by drag and drop. So, here is our source image. Yes, she is beautiful Ariana. In this tutorial, we will use pen tool mostly. We have created separate tutorial to understand and learn pen tool. Link is in the description. If you are new in pen tool, you can learn it from our separate video of pen tool. You can find two option in control panel when you select pen tool. There are two options, shape and path. Here, we will use shape. But before doing anything, let's be safe. Here, we will duplicate background layer two times. You can do it in many ways, like, simply drag background layer to new layer button in layer panel. Or you can use layer via copy option in layer menu. Or simply use shortcut Control plus J. Now, let's rename these layers for less complexity. We will use one layer for detailing and other layer for main source image. Now, let's put solid white color after main source layer. Make sure you use black foreground color. Now select pen tool, and we will first draw hair. Before starting, let me increase PPI of our image, it will increase the output result in high quality. As my resolution is high, and I used 300 PPI it will be 300 pixels per inch. So it will be huge document. That's why it is taking time to change this values. If you have lower specification in your desktop or computer, and feel lags, use lower value than 300. You can pan and zoom easily from navigator panel. You can open navigator from windows drop down menu. So, let's start tracing hair part. Use mouse left click button to create anchor points. To make curves, click and drag using mouse left button. If you want to handle anchor point direction, to change the direction of the curve sharply, release the mouse button, and then press alter button and drag, for windows, or option button and drag, for mac os, the direction point and the direction of the curve. We also have separate video on how to use pen tool. Please do watch that video if you are new in pen tool. Now, we will fast forward this part. Because it will take more time to do precise tracing. When you are done, close the path. A small circle appears next to the pen tool pointer, when it is positioned correctly. Click or drag to close the path. Now, let's hide above two layers, now you can see what we have done here. Now, we need to add other shapes in this shape layer. So, select our hair layer. 
choose pen tool, and above there, in control panel. Select combine shapes option, it will help you to add shapes combinely into selected shape layer. Now trace remaining parts of hair. That's how we can add shapes combinely. You can also duplicate path easily with path selection tool. Select path. And then keep pressed alter button and drag path. It will make duplicate path or shape. So, here we are done. Now, make a group for better arrangement. And rename that group to hairs. Let me fix some shapes. We can also remove parts from shape by pen tool. Choose subtract from shape option from control panel and pen tool. It will help you to remove area from selected shape. If you accidentally create a new shape instead of adding to current shape, you can also merge the shapes from layer panel. Now, we will trace face outlines. So, that's how we can make outlines. Let's make another group from that shape. In the same way, trace other outlines of face.
while making eyebrow, make sure about curves and points. Make sure to make groups to make your work arranged. Otherwise you will be confused later. Now for eyes. First of all we have to trace upper area of eyes. Make that area with black color. So, here we are done with outer part of eyes. You can modify your shapes anytime with direct selection tool below pen tool and toolbar. We will adjust some shapes here. Now let's make inner white area of eyes. To change color of shape, double click on shape icon in layer panel. It will pop up color chooser. Select white color from it. Now for iris of eye, you can directly use ellipse tool. Press shift button while drawing ellipse, it will help you to make perfect circle. Now use clipping mask option to make that circle inside of white shape, below ellipse layer, you can find clipping mask option from layer menu. Or use Ctrl plus Alt or plus G. Use same method for another eye.
That's how we have created I portion. Let's group it and name it I's. Same way, make nose outlines. Use same way for lips outlines too. So, here our outlines are complete. This is called line art. In this video, we learned some basics and how to make line art or outlines for digital art or vector art. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe us. And feel free to ask any question in comment section. See you in next video.